Remote communities in the Northern Territory are facing an education crisis. Only a third of Indigenous children territory-wide attend school on most days. But in the community of Wadair, 400 kilometres west of Darwin, a class of students has achieved high school graduation for the first time in over a decade, to the joy and pride of families and teachers alike. Henry Schwartz has the details. Here in the community of Wadair, songs of celebration are being sung. It's for a high school graduation ceremony that's been a long time coming. It's the first time in more than a decade there has been a class of graduates at the Our Lady of the Sacred Heart College. 17-year-old Jazzy Dumo graduated a year early with A-level marks. School is important to get education and then work and then make community better. Benjamin Mullenbook wants to be an English teacher. The kids must, might, uh, must come to school every day and they have to learn more education. While Mary Papuli is the first in her family to graduate. Why is education important? Because to be a strong woman in community and be a role model. The school says success came down to the use of the Murunpata language in class good family engagement and having access to a youth hostel where students could study. The students are capable, they always have been, and now we're letting them show their true qualities, so we're ecstatic about that. It's been a long time since we've had a good celebration here in Wadair, but today just goes to show if, if, if the kids work hard enough and if they've got the right support there, then they can definitely achieve you know, graduation. Three graduates have already secured jobs as teaching aids for the next generation. These seven students are the first cohort since 2007 to graduate Thank high school here. The now the school hopes that there'll be graduates here every year. Henry Swartz, ABC News, whatever.